For military families, home is supposed to be the safe place. But News 13 has discovered families who paid to live in privatized housing on Kirtland Air Force Base are in danger there, too. And families trying to get help have hit one dead end after another. News 13's Tim Maestas is on special assignment. This is our address. Michael Fratz calls it the house that got us sick. From the outside, I mean, it was gorgeous. It had the ivy growing up. But inside, it was a different story. Water damage and evidence of mold, she believes, wore down her family's health. I would say within two to three months, we started noticing that we weren't feeling well. Michael, her husband Brian, and their three kids were living on Kirtland Air Force Base. They moved into the house in question back in February of 2011. What eventually unfolded was a frustrating struggle, not with base officials, but with the private housing company that oversees all military housing here. All we ask for is a safe place for us to go to sleep at night, just like everybody else wants. Michael points to frequent communications with Kirtland Family Housing, the private housing company, as evidence that her concerns were ignored. In a July 31st letter, the housing office stated multiple inspections of the home have not identified any water intrusion or mold-related problems. But Michael and her family didn't buy that, so they paid out of their own pockets for an independent inspection. Asagai Laboratories in Albuquerque found significant mold contamination at the home. Quite frankly, I've never seen them this high. Bill Biava conducted the testing. He says more than 3 million spores of Aspergillus penicillum were found in one wall of the master bedroom. He also found other types of mold inside the home. In this case, they were probably three times higher than what is considered uh, for nor normal health. Biava also tested another home on Kirtland Air Force Base. Uh, my finger went right through it when we were in here poking around. The house where this woman was living with her husband and three kids. Ariel did not want us to use her real name or show her face. My kids were getting sick. Like, sick, sick. That uh, uh, sampling confirmed the presence of Stachybotrys which is uh, the black mold that everybody gets concerned about. In the report for Ariel's home, Biava also declares significant mold contamination. Biava also says there's evidence Kirtland Family Housing may have tried to cover it up. It's all caved in under there. Ariel and Michael showed us the mold beneath a layer of plywood installed over the bottom of the cabinet under Ariel's kitchen sink. That's all stacky mattress. Ariel also says Kirtland Family Housing has repeatedly denied the presence of mold inside her home. They brought somebody in to do testing. They will not release their report to us. They keep telling us that it's negative. For both families, much of the frustration lies with how little the military can help. In the eyes of Kirtland Air Force Base, it's something the families and the private housing office have to work out on their own. In a statement, base officials told us the agreement between the base and the housing office does not provide the base the authority to oversee or manage maintenance activity in the home. This is Tim Maestas calling from Channel 13. I'm the director of Kirtland Family Housing did not respond to our phone calls. Instead, we got a statement from the housing office's headquarters in El Paso, Texas. Hunt Companies owns tens of thousands of military housing units across the country. Despite numerous letters referencing the family's concerns about mold contamination, the corporate spokesperson told us there have been no maintenance requests or complaints that have come in or are pending regarding the issue you mentioned. We've gone to base um, the commanders and we're like, we need help, like help us and you know, it's out of their hands. They can't help us because it's privatized housing and then you go to privatized housing and they just are like, there's not an issue. We all expect really uh, completely adequate housing that's clean, that's safe. Relief could come in the form of a new bill sponsored by Virginia Congressman Scott Rigel. He got involved after dozens of mold complaints for military families in his home state. The Military Housing Oversight and Accountability Act would grant military branches more oversight when it comes to housing on military bases. That's exactly what Michael and Ariel want to see. I believe the military should be stepping in to help us. Ariel and Michael say the problems go beyond just their homes. I have heard from about six other families that have said they have visible mold but are too afraid to do anything because they don't want to be in the situation that we're in. Tim Maestas, KRQE News 13. After learning about our promos for this story, the spokesperson for the Hunt Companies contacted us again, this time acknowledging the families we interviewed. In a revised statement, Hunt still denies the homes contain mold. Kirtland Family Housing arranged to move those families to different housing units and clean their personal property, but those families insist 
the cleaning methods were not good enough. 1,000 soldiers are being moved to new housing on Fort Bragg after the Smoke Bomb Hill barracks were inspected earlier this month and found to have sub substandard conditions. CBS FC's Dina Harley joins us now live. And Dina, you talked to one soldier today who lives there. What do they have to say? Yeah, that soldier wanted to remain anonymous, but they tell me there was mold in the building and that no matter how much they cleaned that space, it never got better. We're talking about rodents, bugs, water damage, mold. That's what some service members living at Fort Bragg have dealt with in their barracks. That's according to one advocate that I spoke to today. Now, over 1,000 of those tenants will be moved to different housing after the Smoke Bomb Hill barracks were found to be in substandard conditions. But one service member that I spoke with today, who, like I said, wanted to stay anonymous, says they've been living in conditions for so long now that they're not very confident it will get better. Meanwhile, advocates say the soldiers who sacrificed their lives for our country are the ones who are suffering the consequences of living in those conditions. Now, on a call today, Fort Bragg officials said as of today, just 120 soldiers have moved out of the Smoke Bomb Hill barracks so far. Again, that's out of the over 1,000. Reporting live in studio, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. And honestly, Dina, we have been reporting on this for years about time. the Problems yeah. at military bases and the mold and repairs not being made and you know families have tried to file lawsuits. I mean this, we'll see what happens, yeah. but but hopefully this will remedy the problem. Still That's right. The base commander acknowledges mold is a problem here and they're working to correct it. But the attorney for those families say they've had time. They want action now. We have some lawsuits that are in their final stages of being prepared. Attorney Woody Glass is representing 20 military families. He says are dealing with health issues, property loss, and mental anguish as a result of living in moldy housing on Tinker Air Force Base. But they continue to move people into these homes with knowledge of problems are, that are currently existing in these homes without fixing them. The walls in that mechanical room were black, solid floor to ceiling. Those families telling KOCO5 earlier this week that their locked utility room had leaks which they discovered tested positive for toxins. I've seen them personally, the conditions that members are living in, and it is unacceptable. Colonel Kenyon Bell tells KOCO they are working with Belfort Beatty Communities, who manages the more than 600 homes on base, to make changes, including hiring a third party to solely work on mold mitigation. We prioritize each of the discrepancies that have come about, and we're attacking them from the worst to the least. Deteriorating conditions reported in private military housing. One woman says it was so bad in Virginia Beach she had to move. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee spoke with that woman today and joins us live in the newsroom with more. Janet, that woman told me that she and her family had to deal with black mold. And she said the housing company continues to neglect its responsibilities to provide safe living conditions for military families. What started on top of Megan Lawson's air vents quickly spread throughout her Lincoln military housing home in Virginia Beach. She said she later discovered it was black mold. It infuriates me. I mean, it makes me want to stand on top of Mount Everest with a microphone and just uh, shout it. Military families are dealing with similar issues across the country. The Military Advisory Network compiled responses from almost 17,000 people who reported rodents, lead paint, asbestos, and stories of sick children in privatized military housing. Some families testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee today. I have felt the helplessness of a fellow Marine Corps spouse as she held her new baby and sobbed while we stood under a collapsing moldy ceiling in her home at Camp Lejeune. Senator Tim Kaine said it's an injustice to families who sacrifice to serve their country. It gets harder and harder to shock me. We all see a lot of stuff in our standards of what will shock or outrageous kind of change over time. This is shocking. And the effects are taking a toll. Lawson said she and her children are now battling health problems. They've had trouble sleeping, trouble breathing. My daughter has developed asthma and now needs to use an inhaler. Um, so it's just, it's been, it's been a nightmare. Testifying before Congress today, the president of Lincoln Military Housing said he hired a third party expert to review policies and procedures. He says he wants to regain the trust of the families they serve. Live in the newsroom, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.